There were five reasons why you decided to make this film. It's a difficult film. Five reasons. Yeah. Okay. One reason is uh, to tell a beautiful story. Okay. And uh, if I'm making anything, you know, video or a movie or painting or uh, writing anything, you feel like giving some information or uh, giving something to the people. Mm -hmm. So that is one reason because the story had something to tell to the society or people. The two reasons, there were few more. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the Kamala part, your part, because uh, in the room, in the room, in a small room, and uh, we had no place to put the camera, and really filled water. There's no CG, so it was very tough. It was absolutely yeah, tough. Yeah, the raining all the time. Outside raining, inside fully full of water in the room. It's a tiny room. Yes. And there is there are not many people. We were like only three people. Yeah, yeah. Me and most of them, yeah. yeah. So was it was very tough. Yeah. Thing to connect to the camera. Yeah. Even just choreographing the whole part where you're banging to the door and all of that and the water coming in. It was, yeah. It was tough. Yeah, it was very tough. Um, did you, uh, I remember sitting down and, and deciding how we, like, you specific, specifically wanted a mirror. And you wanted a goddess, and it was part of the script also, but you specifically wanted in a certain part. Was this just your vision, or you? Yeah, basically, generally, uh, the idea of when she told me, so she not told me, she said, you can keep the god anywhere, the goddess, the mother god. Mm -hmm. But when we are discussing discussing the script, particular that scene, uh, and there is a window and there is a door. Mm -hmm. Door is to open, coming. Window is to call people for help. Mm -hmm. So once the door is shut and the window is open, in between there is a goddess witnessing all the mm -hmm. the whole sequence. So that's one thought. So that's the reason wanted in between the between the window and the door. And that was uh, yeah. She's not going to help. Then you say the dialogue at last. Yeah, yeah. That's helpless. The, yeah. That's the, I was, I, to be honest, I was very scared to say that because I really believe in God and I, 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 I didn't know, I mean, I didn't know where to bring it out from, but I just had to, to be Kamla and it came out naturally, but for the longest time I was contemplating why would she say or she should or she should not. It was, it, it, it was a struggle for me. Yeah, because... After the, the whole the episode ends, the film ends, that strength is given by the goddess. Mm. She has given you. She went into the water and she gave you the so much strength, you came out. So the, after the life, we make a, the part two, we'll be having a different life. Happy. You left everything in that. You dressed in the water and you Get left it. to your past into that room and Get left. It. Um, the past is flooded with a drained water. <laughs> It's really funny that Dhruv, my nephew, who is only um, uh, 4, 15, he, my brother, and very, very interesting, Andre, they all, uh, when they saw the movie, it's interesting that my family doesn't understand Telugu, and Andre, it's really hard for him. Um, but they loved the film, understood the film, and, uh, and, uh, and they enjoyed it more without the subtitles. That was actually very really funny. Yeah. <laughs> because they said we understand, we don't need the subtitles. But something very interesting they all said is that it is about hope because all the characters who are with hope about these two kids, they have this this hope to to celebrate birthday. This she Kamla has to save this child and and they survive. But there's one boy who's, who's given up on hope, um, on faith is the one who doesn't survive. So was that a a thought somewhere in your head or it just happened as a film progress because it is about I always felt that the first time I read the script that this is this film is just about faith and hope 
But was that your thought process also, or there was something else you were thinking? Because everyone will have a different interpretation of this film. That's the beauty of this film, I think. So basically, it's a part of like there are many lives in the film. Mm -hmm. So this question you should ask Zina, but this one particular one, there are three people, five mm. people, ten people. Yeah. But somewhere, mm. somebody has to exit. Correct. Okay. So that's what one guy goes off, but he's saving those uh, little children. Hmm. So there is also hope. That's also in hope. the future generation. For the future generation, yeah. There's also hope, yeah, yeah. For for uh, um, what were it were the difficult times while shooting for the film that you were like, I don't know what I'm doing because it's very difficult to shoot it. Or did you have the whole conviction the whole time? Yeah, because we. It's a simple story, and uh, the tough thing is we shot on real locations, mm -hmm. yeah. no sets. So shooting on those locations there is restriction, but we shot well. I mean, we had a rain sequence. We were shooting the small slum, so small slum, with intermission part where you walk. Correct. It's uh, all real locations. The, yeah, yeah, yeah. Night yeah. shoot. That too in the night. Yeah. So the tiny rains, putting all the rain. Yeah. The missions around. It was very difficult to trouble the people. We requested them to just for two hours. <laughs> yeah. So because they have to get up in the morning and they have to go to the work. Yeah. All the yeah. slum. Yeah. Even though the part where the camera is just following me and I'm running in the slums, it was very hard for you to shoot because, I mean, you were just running with that camera on your shoulder. It was hard. Yeah. <laughs> you did that part. Remember, we didn't get a. It was you the whole yes, time. Yes, it was. It was. It was amazing sure how that. amazing how you did it. What was the best part about shooting with the kids? Because there's a lot of innocence that they bring on set, which uh, trained actors don't bring. Because these guys, there's a lot of. I don't know. It's very beautiful to see act, kids act. Yeah. And especially that kid when he says, "Put in a rose leaf after that after the after she delivers the child." It was just very beautiful. Mm -hmm. What was the best part about shooting with them? And you love kids. Yeah. It was really funny because while we were shooting with this child, the child would not come to me, it was the mother, or he would go to him. Uh, what was the best part about shooting? Yeah, this basically on screen there the children look good, but there are many troubles. <laughs> so many troubles. Yeah. Once you have a professional actor, that's different, but to the take time and uh, and uh, a limited time and real locations, we don't get much time. So the, as a technician, not as a the, the director uh, is convincing them, then like they're training them, asking them to act like this, then I should tell that it's, we are losing time. <laughs> should finish it first. So the stress was there with the children. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but they were very that. cute too. Yeah, the younger one is just adorable. What a lovely actor. What a lovely, lovely act. I mean, they both are such amazing act. All of them. And some of the scenes, how difficult was it to can that scene? It's real location, right? Where they both come in their little tube and what, what is it called? It's a pipe. So water pipe, water pipe. Mm -hmm. And then they are, uh, they are sitting there eating samosa. It was just, <laughs> it was so real. It's just beautiful. How difficult was that shooting that? It was nice because uh, we generally, in making movie making, we write it sitting in a small room, a yeah. nice comfortable room, or go to nice locale and sit and think about oh. writing a story. But we, when we uh, make it in neo, neo realistic, realistic movies, mm. like olden days, like they are very real when you see Pate Panchari, yeah. Bicycle Thief, all those films, you see a real life and you feel it. So that was the experience of this film, because you are in the slum, we are shooting on real locations. I am not saying it here at all. I am saying Kamala, okay, Kamala, where is Kamala? I should call it Kamala yeah, I love Because that. you fit into that. So the moment you have a set and people around and making it like unreal. So sometimes as a being a technician, we seeing the truth through the camera. Uh, I know there are so many people around me, but we had very less people and only the camera and you, me and director. I don't want it. I don't want it because it, it can create a realistic uh, thing, but 
there is a film moment called dogme in the french new year all those who used to take the camera and go and shoot on the location if you want to shoot in islam or in a fast or whatever without taking the permission they go and shoot it without lights wow so that was a moment that like i saw so many films i like why can't we shoot just take the camera and shoot yes so that was a fun part yeah and we didn't lose the quality it is like we shot in good camera and <laughs> but you got many awards in in your your uh, you are such a senior cameraman and you made such beautiful films is it easier to do live locations now that you have uh, the cam- the cameras are different now than before before you had to change the reel and now it's all digital digital is it is it easier yeah it's easier but uh, the story has to fit okay like when the action sequence or something we can't do it Correct. You have to break so many things, do so many things, manipulate, man, modify. So if the story is demanding, particular location, thinking that location you are writing a story, then yes, mm-hmm. you can do anything. Correct, correct. That's also true. Um, there's one thing my Baba says that he never loses his temper. He's always very calm, and the least he loses, he'll do this with his beard. Where does that come from? <laughs> Like everyone loses it once a week or once in ten days. Like everyone does it. Like it's impossible. But Baba Sir never does. Like where does that come from? That kind of calmness. Ah, uh, basically my the philosophy or the, my attitude or my personality. I don't feel like disturbing others, fellow human being, and that to actors on location. Even I don't talk to them. Even they are friendly. They are a good friend. You, 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 Uh, spend a lot of time with me. I know you for years and decades, but I don't disturb you because maybe you are having something, you are thinking something, thinking about the scene. Yeah. So that's it, and I will be calm. Okay, I don't want to disturb anybody. I don't shout. The moment you shout, losing temper, you will disturb. The first thing is actors. Correct. They get oh, what is happening. The yeah. moment you break the thinking uh, process of an of an actor, yeah, then you, you are losing your scene in the film. Yeah. So, so, so there has to be calmness. So many yeah, right. many over the shout. years, you've learned that you figure no. that out. Somebody is even talking loudly. I say that get up. Yeah. Just try to do the finger. Get out. I just want to use the yeah. two finger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he word, has a life. I say yeah. that finger. Okay, you please yeah. out. Yeah, yeah. No, and that's amazing about you. It's amazing because it's always so calm and peaceful to work with with Baba Sir. What was the first thing that you loved about when you read the script? Uh. See that's a lot you said is the the story line not the stories the first thing is yours to start with your yeah so life is all about the two stages one is when you lose everything Correct. you start your journey that's yeah. your life yeah so when we travel and we build we, we imagine so many things we dream so many things mm-hmm. as a child children or we grow up we educate ourselves and we earn a lot of money but a point comes and you say no this is not me this is going to be done hmm. so that is the point in the kamala story we didn't see kamala after that so i always tell you sir that you write as episode 2 part 2 yeah. where kamala kamala is not kamala he is having a different life she becomes so you have a hope where she city has used to hope is a word where maybe she is a dream driving a uh rolls royce in somewhere no one know that's the whole shea would like that <laughs> <laughs> so the woman is saying struggling she and slum like the yeah. baby and yeah. uh, the husband is like everything so she waited for him but he didn't come she did so now she has she can become something no one know and it's amazing even in kamla's life where she's up until She doesn't hear the other other woman's voice. She always has that. Maybe he'll come back. Maybe he'll come back. He's the guy who's taking care of me, who will take care of me, and I'll be fine. But after that, she realizes she will be fine. She just has to believe. Yeah. And it's really beautiful, right? In real life, also, once you start believing, some power comes from somewhere, and it just it just helps you. But you have to take that first step yourself. No one is once you don't once you do that, everything falls in place. 
Babai also reads a lot of books. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, Babai reads a lot of books. So what's your favorite five books? Ah. Okay, um, whatever your favorite. I know Crime and Punishment. Many, yes, yes, that's what she is my, one of my favorite. I was reading Crime and Punishment before COVID happened and then I got pregnant and Andre said you can't read it anymore. <laughs> I basically like the Russian literature on his thoughts by and Dostoevsky and uh, Dostoevsky is all his uh, short stories, comparison of all the stories and uh, there is somebody called uh, philosopher uh, Nije, Das Fik Taratrasta and uh, there are many more actually. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Uh, so it's really funny. Crime and Punishment is is written on a street in Russia, in in Moscow, in Petersburg, and so it's where it's a celebrated house where he wrote it, and a celebrated house where in his book he he wrote he the hero lives there, and, and so he kind of described that house where he went and killed, and it's just it's 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 in Petersburg, and and they yes, made like a statue of him in front. And so Andre took me there and he said, oh, you know, Baba sir loves it. And I thought, I'll, I'll, I'll take you for a walk here. And very casually he's saying, yeah, crime and, crime and punishment was, basically this is the street he's talking about. And I take pictures and I send it to Baba. And Baba's like, wow, are you there? <laughs> like literally like I'm at the Oscars. <laughs> <It's hilarious>. like, <laughs> yeah, he's a true book lover. Yeah, there's one more uh, book is... Uh... Gorky, that's okay. in Gorky. That's a fantastic reader. Read those stories, you know, Red Punishment, or Crime and Punishment, and uh, Mother Gorky's. You really feel it. You, they take you to that location. That's the reason I reacted so much because of Saint Petersburg. Everywhere they like he's walking, mm. going here. White Knight's also there. Is uh, another short story. So I could clearly see that what I read and what I saw in the images is the yeah. same. I could connect. Yeah, you're like oh there. Yeah, even after so many years. Yes. Even after like so many years of it's it being written. Uh, Sujana is amazing. She's um, she's a woman of very few words and she expresses less, but then she writes this beautiful story. And sometimes I actually I, I remember I, I couldn't believe that Sujana has written this because she doesn't talk, but she has she has a lot of depth and she's she's very she's a very intense person, I think. I, yeah, I mean She's she's amazing. I'm so happy that you liked the story and you made it into a film. And uh, yeah, it's it's a beautiful film uh, out there for you all to watch. I hope COVID didn't happen in the middle. <laughs> it's a process. <laughs> it's a it's a process. Yeah, yeah. But it's uh, it is what it is, and now it's out on Amazon Prime. So please, guys, watch it.